Hey, what's going on? I'm Matt O'Leary back with another video and today we're going to be talking about something that I saw on Twitter. It's been bugging me. It's been a take that's been on the internet ever since the draft really and uh, I wanted to take a little bit of a break today at least. I'm going to get back into draft stuff but I just wanted to go away from the draft. I'm a little burnt down on it and th this topic really bothered me. So it's the notion that Sam Darnold is on the clock. Before we get into the video, I just wanted to mention that you can follow me on social media at Matt O'Leary and why you could subscribe to the podcast, call in, ask me your questions here and also this Saturday May 2nd at 8 p.m. I'm going to be live streaming a watch party of the 2010 playoff game against the Patriots definitely something you're going to want to tune into this Saturday at 8 p.m. So Chris Carlin who hosts a radio show here in New York had this tweet exact words Sam Darnold is on the clock in the NFL if you don't have an answer on your quarterback you don't have a quarterback the Jets have helped protect him with these offseason moves this GM didn't draft him if he doesn't improve in 2020 the Jets will be looking at a quarterback in the 2021 draft I am here to tell you that the New York Jets are not going to be drafting Sam Darnold's replacement in 2021 under any circumstances Let's take a look at some of his first-year numbers in 2018. He played 13 games. He was 4-9, a 57.7 completion percentage. He threw for 2,865 yards, 17 touchdowns, 15 interceptions, and had a 77.6 quarterback rating. Now, the next year, last year, he started the first game of the year, didn't look all that great, and then it came out that he had mono. So he missed three weeks. Now, normally, or three games, four weeks, really, if you count the bye. Normally, it takes two, three months for Mono to leave your system. He was back playing in a month. Keep that in mind. He was 7-6 and six as a starter, had a 61.9 completion percentage, threw for 3,024 yards, 19 touchdowns, 13 interceptions for, for an 84.3 quarterback rating. He improved in every single statistical category with somehow a worse offensive line and a worse head coach. Some of his offensive coaches over the past three years has been Adam Gase, Dowell Loggins, and Jeremy Bates. He's not exactly set up for success, and he somehow was able to get better at 22 years old dealing with symptoms from mono. If you look at Baker Mayfield, Lamar Jackson, Josh Allen, those three quarterbacks all taken in the first round with addition to Josh Rosen, but those three specifically were taken in the first round and were put in much, much better situations than what Sam Darnold has. Baker Mayfield, even though he struggled last year and so did the Cleveland Browns, they underachieved. He has guys like Jarvis Landry around him. He has guys like Odell Beckham Jr., David Njoku. He has a legit offense to work with. Lamar Jackson, I mean, they completely retooled what that team was all about on the offensive side of the ball in months. Like, in the second half of the 2018 season, and then all of 2019, they put him in a perfect situation. And Josh Allen, while I think he's flawed as a quarterback, they have done a fantastic job of getting pieces in here to try to improve his game. So those three quarterbacks have been in much better situations, and you can make the case that Darnold is two or three on that list. What I want you to do if you have any concerns about Sam Darnold is go back and watch these four games. The game in 2018 against the Green Bay Packers, the game against Houston, the game against Dallas, or the game against the Oakland Raiders from last year. And look through that game and tell me that you didn't see anything to show that he is the guy going forward because if you haven't seen something that you've liked from this kid over the last two years then you already had your mind made up from the beginning that he wasn't going to be the guy because more often than not he has been just as good as advertised if not better there's bad games mixed in you can't discount the new england patriots game but that's one game in an awful situation on a bad team Sam Darnold is 22 years old. Still, at this point, with two years starting experience in the league, he is younger than Joe Burrow, and he is younger than Mitch Trubisky, who Chris Garland then compared him to by three years. Sam Darnold still has time to get this figured out in the league. You can't say definitively that your 22-year-old quarterback has it or doesn't has, has it. Even after this year, you probably are going to have a better idea because Carlin is right in one sense. The team around him is better. The offensive line is much, much better, and there are some legitimate weapons. It's how he's going to be utilized as a quarterback and how the coach is going to run the offense, and I'm not all that confident in the coach, but if Sam Darnold doesn't have a significantly better season, 
then that's more on the coach than it is on Sam Darnold. Are you really to believe that Adam Gase deserves a third year with another quarterback? He can make the judgment whether or not Sam Darnold is the guy for the future or not. That seems absolutely crazy to me. Yes, Joe Douglas did not draft Sam Darnold, but Sam Darnold is probably the reason why he took the job in the first place. The New York Jets don't have a whole lot going for this franchise. On the defensive side of the ball, you have Jamal Adams. On the offensive side of the ball, you have Sam Darnold. Those were the two things, building block pieces, that the New York Jets had when Joe Douglas took that job. You think he takes the job knowing there's not a quarterback in place? Come on. We have to be smarter than that. And if I'll say it again, if you haven't seen anything, and I'm not saying like you're saying that Darnold's a top 10 quarterback. I'm not saying that either. I think if I were to rank him somewhere right now, he's probably around 20 in the low 20s of quarterbacks. But I think you could take that next step forward and he is much more likely to be at least an average starting quarterback in this league than someone who is off the team that drafted him in, in three years. There's no way that I think... Sam Darnold is going to be worse this year than what he was last year, considering that it was the first year in a new offense with Adam Gase, who is flawed, that was dealing with mono symptoms and had the worst offensive line in football. Somehow, some way, Darnold was still able to show you things in flashes. He's going to consistently put it together more and more as we go, and you would have to feel pretty confident about a 23-year-old quarterback in a decently wide-open division for the first time in 20 years. Darnold isn't perfect. He is still developing, but I will tell you one thing. The Jets are not drafting a quarterback to replace Sam Darnold in 2021. That much, I can guarantee you. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you believe the clock is ticking on Sam Darnold now after the draft class? Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm Matt O'Leary, and I'll talk to you next time. (laughs) 